okay so now we learn here about the discount present worth analysis so first we we'll introduce what is the discount present worth analysis okay so discount present worth analysis is find the present value of the expected expected future cash flow using the discount rate okay using we'll find the expected future cash flow using the discount rate so if the investor can use the concept of present value of money to determine whether the future cash flow of an investment or the project are equal or greater than the value of a initial investment so when we invest a money okay at that time we will find that expected future cash flow or a future guess what are the benefit okay so that we already calculated using this discount present worth analysis method okay so for that also you need to understand the concept of time of value of money so it help you to understand the discount present worth analysis okay so now for that how you find the present worth analysis for which like if you have a, we need to measure the present worth analysis for the equal life of alternative the life you, if you invest your money in a equipment okay so there is a many option for us available to purchase a equipment okay so like a various company is producing producing the same equipment or same tools so we need to compare it okay for so here we divide into two categories so first one is present worth analysis for the equal life okay the equal life for so equipment having equal life like a six year equipment equipment one and equipment two having the equi- equal life of a six years okay so for that we need to compare those equipment okay we need to find out the present value of those equipment after 6 year after 7 year after 8 years that we need to find out for the category there is a present worth analysis for the different life alternatives so those who have a different life okay like one equipment have a 6 year life and other equipment have a 8 year life so we need to compare both the equipment so you can use the present worth analysis for comparing okay for the different life alternatives okay here you can use the word that equipment instead of alternatives okay now what if we have a equipment having a same life like equipment a and equipment b is there and the life of that two equipment is a 6 year so how we calculate the present worth analysis or how we choose so here the procedure is given to you okay after the finding first we need to what finding the present worth analysis present value of a each equipment if we have more than one equipment then we need to find out that present value of a equipment so if there is a one alternative is there okay equal life alternative so calculate the present worth analysis at maximum attractive rate of return and if the present worth or present value is more than zero then what we accept the project because what at that attractive rate of return okay that we want is always positive then we what we get the benefit from those okay but what if there are two or more alternatives what we have more or two if more than two equipment then we need to calculate the present worth analysis at a maximum attractive rate return and we need to select the project with the higher numerical present worth okay so equipment 1 and b equipment b is there okay first we need to present worth at the maximum attractive rate and we need to choose the higher value higher value of a present worth okay but for the independent project you can select the all the project 
those who have a present worth value is greater than zero. So you can directly accept those who have a present worth value is greater than zero at a maximum rate return for the independent project. Okay. Now for next category we have a different equipment having a different life okay so for that what we need to do when project have a different life like project duration is given to if the project have a three like here three year and five year given to or if the equipment also you can use the equipment when the equipment have a different life here okay the duration of a life is vary like if one equipment is the duration or life for the three year and other for the five year so what the present worth of alternatives must be compared over the same number of the year means we need to compare the alternative or we need to compare the equipment for the three year only not for the four year because what why the three year are common in the equipment one or equipment a and equipment b so that's why the same number you need to compare the equipment okay and this can be achieved by the comparing the alternatives over a time period equal to the place common multiple lcm of their lives and the comparing alternative using study period okay say except study period means the life is the six year then the study period may be three year four year or five year okay so this is your study period for the both equipment not a single for the both equipment that you need to understand so this is the small introduction of a discount present worth analysis okay so using this discount present worth analysis you can find that future value okay expected future value at that some rate discount rate here we use a maximum attractive rate okay maximum attractive rate of return that we use over here okay there is other also rate of return is there incremental return is there okay but here we can use the maximum attractive rate of return maybe be less or maybe negative maybe positive maybe zero okay based on that what we accept according to that we need to choose our recruitment okay if you choose the 20% rate and if it is a fall down below that then we need to choose other recruitment if it is a more than 20% that it is good for our business good for our investment okay good for the investor so that we need to conclude from that discount present worth analysis okay